Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to a new video uh, on Koti or the coin of the internet. It's been a while since I covered this, but I have looked at it um, a lot in the last two months, I believe, even because I, I still remember looking at it a lot when it when it was rallying right here. Um, so it was a around seven cents. I still had some price alerts there. Saw it there and I thought, you know, that's not going to do anything. And then, um, well, the day after it rallied a lot. And then again, I thought, all right, well, that was a rally. Now we'll just consolidate. And again, it rallies a lot as well. So in general, just wanted to talk about this rally, what's going on. Wanted to talk a bit about the fundamentals, but in, I'll, I'll just give you my thoughts, all right? Because I do have clear thoughts um, about Coty. I think it's mostly manipulated. And I think most of you will, will agree with me on that. Some of you might not, but the thing is, is that Coty um, has DWF Labs as a market maker, for example. Um, I'm not sure if they actually hold Coty right here as well. Uh, however, DWF Labs is involved with them. They're quite known for causing pumps like this. And they usually end up with some sort of a dump. But the dump always ends up higher. So that's not necessarily so, so, so something uh, something bearish. Uh, but it is something you should know. And just in general, I mean, if you look at Coty right now, if you look at the volume. And don't worry, I mean... I've always been positive about Coty. I like Coty. The thing is that we have to be honest, all right? And if you look at the volume right there, you'll see that most of the volume comes from UEE, from 4E, Bitthump, Bitrue, X Markets, Bing X, which you can see all of them are moderate confidence. And just in general, um, if you know manipulation, usually when a crypto is manipulated, most of the volume comes from those sources. Now, I know, and I know most of you have thought about this. Like I said, I, I like Coty. All right. Um, and I know about the fundamentals and I know that they, they've had some breakthroughs and this is very bullish. But this to me, knowing what's going, knowing where the volume is coming from and knowing who's backing Cody, this to me seems more like, all right, well, we have these fundamentals, so we will pump and manipulate the price instead of um, these fundamentals are here. Oh, we have to buy the price or we have to buy Cody. Um, and I'm pretty confident about that. But just in general, I mean, right now, Coty, I would say, is still bullish, all right? So it doesn't matter that much, but at least now you know. Um, but if you look at Coty right here, I mean, you'll see that we had some major liquidations here at 24 cents, uh, which is usually some sort of a, a, a bearish sign. Uh, however, if you look at the CVD, you can see that basically since yesterday afternoon, all the way up until the, uh, today at three o'clock in the, in the night, the open interest has gone up by about um, $50 million, which is crazy, all right? And most of that is in longs if you look at the CVD. So that means that right now, a ton of people are still long on Coty, um, probably manipulators, and they bought in this rally right here, and I don't think they're going to sell yet, all right? I don't think they've made enough profits. So maybe we'll have a bit of a pullback, and, and we can have a look at where most of the liquidity is for Coty to gain some sort of an understanding uh, of what's most likely uh, here, so so that we will get a pullback, because like I said, we hit a strong resistance level right here at the 2.618. We got some big liquidations, so getting a bit of a pullback right here is expected. Um, but if you look at Cozy right now, I mean, there isn't that much liquidity. I would say that most of the liquidity, um, there's some right here at 20 cents, there's a lot at 17 cents, but that's quite far away. Um, even though it's possible. But just in, just in general, due to those liquidations, due to the strong resistance level, I expect us to drop down a bit, perhaps spike all the way down to, to 17 and 16 cents. Be prepared for that. It's, it's not guaranteed, but it's a possibility. But I do expect us to, after spiking down, to get back up and to rally up to 29 and 30 cents. So even though I think it's manipulated, um, I do sp still expect more bullish momentum. I think it's, um, well, like I said, I th I, so many dollars in positions have been opened um, and the price is up quite a bit, but I, I don't see a, a massive release of positions yet. So if the open interest really starts falling down a lot, that means that whales are closing their positions and then the chances of still doing this become lower. But that's not the situation right now. And I cannot predict that situation uh, this afternoon. So you'll have to monitor that for yourself. But at this moment, this still seems most likely. So those are my thoughts. I think that's what you need to know. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments as well. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.